Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperix here, back for another LEGO video, and I'm extremely excited to share this with you guys today. So, almost exactly a year ago, I posted a video on my channel examining and exploring the origins of the most painful LEGO brick. If you haven't watched that first video, please click the pop-up on the top right-hand corner of your screen to learn more about the backstory of this absurd LEGO brick before watching this video. It will provide a lot of important information. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. So as you may remember, this daunting yet now famous image of a Lego brick lying upside down with spikes cut into it was spread far and wide across the internet as a meme. But where did this image really originate from? Who created this monstrosity of a Lego brick and why? Why in the world did he or she decide to create it in the first place? Well, I'm very happy to report that... Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Not only did we track down the original Reddit post where this image came from, we also found its creator, and I was able to DM him some interview questions in order to answer our long-awaited questions about his motivations and intentions with this crazy Lego brick. So stay tuned as I will uncover everything we discovered, because trust me, you'll want to know. Also, I'm saying that we discovered the creator because this was a team effort between me and all of you guys who watched the original video. Over the course of months, I read the replies from everyone who commented on the original video and finally discovered enough links tracing back to a single Reddit post. Also, big credit to Ty Funk, who did some digging and was the first person to find the source with solid evidence. This man is the GOAT. Now, let me explain exactly what we discovered and the responses that I received from this Brick's creator. Here is the original Reddit post. It was posted by a user named Silic67 with a very simple title named very appropriately considering the subreddit's name. Of course, there is just a single image attached, the most painful Lego brick. Now, as far as my research goes, this is the first record of this image on the internet. All leads point back to this single Reddit post, so I was very confident that we had found the mysterious creator of this crazy brick. But of course, before we go any further, let me show you guys the proof, which is the first message of many that I sent to Silix, in order to verify that he was indeed the creator of this Lego brick. We'll take a look at the rest of our DM conversation in just a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and gather some important information from the Reddit post itself, because as it turns out, the comments on this post provide a lot of interesting information and some extremely funny notes as well. The top comment is obviously a reference to the meme that this image was originally used in, which was the top 10 weapons too brutal for war, because this brick would be so painful you wouldn't be able to use it in war because everyone would agree to ban it outright. And additionally, this post also spawned a plethora of hilarious and genius comments like these on screen right now, as well as some highly questionable ones like this one, in which this user says, Warning, sharp parts not suitable for ages 4 to 99, which is funny because LEGO is supposed to usually be for ages 4 to 99. Oh, and I can't forget about this one. This is definitely my favorite one. No, that's a lot of damage! Now, most importantly, the comments here immediately debunk one of the most popular theories from my original video. Many, and I mean many, many people predicted that this monstrosity of a Lego brick was 3D printed. But alas, it was not. A Reddit user asked for the G-code used for 3D printing, but Silic simply stated that he just took a brick and cut it up a bit. But what did he use to cut it, and why? Why in the world would he do this? Well, that will be answered whenever we take a look at my DMs to Silix, the creator. Now, at this point, I still didn't know why Silix had decided to create this painful Lego brick. What were his intentions? How did he initially get the idea to come up with a Lego brick like this? You know, no one just randomly thinks one day that they're going to create a really painful Lego brick. Or do they? Well, what did he even use to cut the Lego brick itself? I needed answers, so of course I did the most logical thing and DM Silic some questions. And buckle up, because here are the responses that I received. 
So first of all, I introduced myself, I told him that I was a YouTuber and I make YouTube videos about LEGO, and I saw the memes created with his image, and I wanted to ask him some questions. So first of all, I asked how did you create the brick? What did you use to make the jagged cuts? And to this, Silix responded that he used nail clippers and just cut into the LEGO brick and continue to make spikes on the bottom. He also realized that it would look like something that internet would consider cursed, and that's originally why he decided he would post it on Reddit. So this is interesting to me because clearly Silix did not create this brick on purpose in order to put it on the internet, you know, for internet points, but rather he decided after he created it that, it, you know, the post would probably do pretty good on Reddit. But of course, the important part here is we discovered how Silix created the most painful Lego brick. He used nail clippers. And I guess posting his creation on Reddit turned out to be a great idea after all. Alright, so after being enlightened by this brick modifying technique, that's also very cursed, I had to see if any of you guys had guessed it correctly, and to my surprise there actually were a few people who guessed correctly, which is awesome. Great detective work to you guys who figured it out. I counted a total of 8 comments, which is an extremely low number considering that the video has over 1.4 million views, so not many people guessed it. But anyway, I still had questions to answer, so I delivered my next question to Silix regarding why he decided to create the Lego brick. And for that message, I said, why did you initially decide to create this wild brick? Were you just bored one day, maybe inspired by something, or perhaps there's a story behind it? And to that, Silix responded that he was bored. He was probably just watching YouTube and saw it and started doing stuff, which this is a very interesting response. And a bit funny, because it's just so random to start cutting a Lego brick with a nail clipper. I'm not sure if it was just a coincidence that he was using a nail clipper and a Lego brick just happened to be lying nearby, so he tried it out, but somehow it happened and the most painful Lego brick was created. Just like that. Simple, right? Well, the power of boredom really does make us do some weird things sometimes, doesn't it? Including making a Lego super weapon, apparently. So now we know how and why Silix made this brick, but honestly at this point I was really wondering if Silix is an avid Lego fan. Does he buy a lot of Lego sets? Well, let's find out. So I messaged Silix, what is your favorite Lego set that you own? Just assuming that he had some sets because he obviously made the brick. And to that he responded that he doesn't really remember what sets he had because he just made them once and then put them into a big bin that he shared with his family in which then they could create mocks basically or create their own creations through it. And he also said that he did get a cool Star Wars set for his 7th birthday. So from this answer, Silix is definitely a creative LEGO builder who enjoys building his own creations rather than just displaying the sets he has. And perhaps he's a LEGO Star Wars fan as well. Very respectable. Now, will we see Silix create another cursed Lego brick in the future? Well, perhaps. We'll just have to wait and see. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this series, subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on, and click on one of the videos on screen right now to watch more. What are you waiting for? I'll see you there.